I remember a story uh, that kind of reflects back to our, our week at Standing Stone. And uh, as Charles Stanley wrote in one of his books about a story of a little farm boy that was wanting a puppy. And he um, got with his father and they got in the car and they're driving around looking to purchase a puppy and they see a for sale sign puppies for sale out in the front yard of one of the farmyards and he goes up to the door and they talk to the man that has the puppies for sale and he says that he's interested in buying a puppy well the man tells the little boy that he has uh, a really a good stock of puppies that are there that they're from fine stock and and uh, good parenting and that those puppies don't go cheap well the little boy said pulled out 39 cents out of his blue jeans of his overalls and says, well, I have 39 cents. Can I take a peek at some of the puppies? And, and the farmer said, sure, you can. So they go around to the back of the house where the dogs were. And as he's calling the mother Dolly out of the dog house, she runs down a ramp. And behind her comes seven or eight little balls of fur of these puppies that, that belong to her. And the little boy's looking at the puppies. and. And uh, as he's looking over the puppies, he notices that there's one little small puppy that evidently was the run of the litter that uh, was coming down somewhat later after the others had gotten down and were in the yard playing. And he looked at that puppy and he said, that's the puppy that I want. And the farmer says, oh no, you don't want that puppy because he's the run of the litter. He'll, he'll never be a big dog. He'll never be able to run and play and have fun with you like the rest of these dogs will be able to do. And the little boy said, no, I want that puppy. And as he said that, he pulled up one of his leg, pants legs of his leg, and he had a, a brace and a fitted shoe that evidently he, was, he had polio and was not able to walk well. And he pointed to his brace and his shoe, and he said to the farmer, he said, sir, he says, this puppy is going to need somebody that understands, and that's the one that I want. And I think that that illustration reminds me of Standing Stone Ministry, that uh, when, when you feel like you're maybe the run of the litter, you feel like that there's, there's no one that really cares, you feel like that you're ineffective and what you're doing because of the circumstances that are around you and that surround you. Uh, you know through the mentor couple that there's someone that understands. They know where you're at, they know and they understand why you're there and what you're going through and they're able to, to really pinpoint and say to you that you're valuable, that we love you, that God loves you, we understand, and, whether, and we, we want to do what we can do to get you uh, effectively re-engaged in ministry or moving forward in an effective way in ministry. And that's what Standing Stone Ministry is and what it has been to us over the years.